Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this velocity problem, they want us to figure out in Michael Johnson's run which 100 meter segment was his speed the highest, and then in that segment, what his exact speed in meters per second was. So if we think about this conceptually, we know that every single section, or the delta x for it, is going to be 100 meters. So if we have the formula for velocity, we know that velocity is a change in x, over a change in time. So since the delta x is staying the exact same, whatever section has the fastest time will make the velocity larger. So he'll obviously be the fastest. So for every section, we actually don't have to calculate the speed. We just need to figure out which one had the shortest time, and that will therefore be his fastest section. And then we can calculate what the exact speed was for it. So let's just write down sections one through four. And then let's figure out the time for each. The one for the first one obviously is just given to us. It's They say he ran it in 11.20 seconds. The second one, they say that he reached the 200 mark after a total time of 21.32 seconds. So now for part two, they say that he reached the 200 meter mark after a total time of 21.32 seconds. So the T final, minus t initial for delta t is going to be the 21.32 seconds minus 11.20, 21.32 minus 11.2. So the time for that one is 10.12 seconds. So now for part three, they say that he reaches the 300 meter mark after 31.76 seconds. So now we have T final of 31.76 six seconds minus 21.32, that was a struggle. So here we have 31.76 minus 21.32. 3, 2. So the time for that section is 10.44. 10.44 seconds for number three. And then of course, number four, they say that he finishes at 43.18 seconds. And then we're going to minus where he started out for that 100 meter second section at 31.76 seconds. 438 minus 31.76 gives us 11.42. Okay, so as we already discussed, whatever time was the smallest is going to give us the fastest velocity, which obviously goes to reason. So for section number two, that was his fastest time. And now we need to figure out what the actual velocity is for part B. So for part B, the formula for velocity, of course, is delta x over delta t. We already know that the delta x is 100 meters, and we just solved for the delta t, which is 10.12 seconds. So we have 100 meters divided by 10.12 seconds, and so we have a speed for part b of 9.88 meters per second. 